Hey everyone, welcome to another Generation Zero video. I am Game Explorer, and today we are farming just the big machines, trying to get the Reaper to spawn. So let's get to it. Okay, so for a little bit of background, we are in the farmlands at the airport, the airstrip, the overby base, I believe it's called F-23, and our region level is, I believe, 22. We have seven rivals, so we have room to spawn the Reaper, because you can have eight in a region, and I'm, I've been going at this for a while, you know, just harvesting the machines, if I end up with an eighth rival instead of the Reaper, picking off the rival, try it again. And um, this situation here, I have a Phoenix Harvester and a Phoenix Tank nearby. I'm going to try to blow up that Harvester. Uh, it's just fun to put those explosives underneath them. And hopefully we don't pull that tank, but... I'm not sure that's going to be the case, um, but let's give it a shot. So here we're just crawling up on the harvester. I've gotten behind them, crawling through the brush, trying to be super careful. This is pretty dicey. There's three hunters nearby, and the harvester is facing the opposite direction of the hunter. So fortunately, his awareness isn't that great. But um, let's see how many explosives we can get underneath them. Okay, so we had a little bit of cleanup to do there. A couple of the hunters survived the initial blast. Kind of figured they would. I couldn't quite get close enough to them with those canisters. And we made the tank cautious, but it doesn't appear that he's going to be coming after us. And it also appears that we haven't spawned a rival or the reaper. So... We need to keep going and, and keep farming. So our next contestant is going to be that tank right over there. Um, let's see what we can do to him. So the plan for the tank is I still have a large EMP. So we're just going to put one underneath him, step back, hit him with the experimental recoilless rifle, which is two shots on the trigger pull, and finish him off. Let's see what happens. Okay, we've taken his auto cannon and his missile pod off, so we can just take our time now and 
finish him off. Okay, well that didn't entirely go to plan, but um, he's down. Took a little bit longer to finish him off than I was thinking it would take. Oh, look at that, we got a Reaper. Hallelujah. Um, let's finish looting him real quick. Get to a little out of the middle of the airfield. And we'll take a look and see where our Reaper has spawned in. There he is. So he's north of the crater. Um, to the south there, there's uh, Store Durbo, I believe. That's a bunker, Store Mira. That's uh, a tiny little bunker. Probably won't work out. That's the Boo Brook Air Base there to the north. So I also want to point out, you can see our region level there is 22. We have to be at a minimum of 21. And now you can see we also have eight active rivals. The Reaper took that last spot. Um, you can't spawn in a rival. So what I like to... Uh, you can't spawn in a rival if you already have eight. So what I like to do is get my region level to around 23. That seems to be a safe number. Take out a rival. Your region level won't drop below 21 which is important because that's what you have to have to spawn a Reaper. And then you have a chance to spawn that Reaper. And if you don't do that, you could your region, if you start with a lower region level, you could drop below 21 when you kill a rival. And then you'll spawn in another rival because the Reaper, Reaper doesn't even have a chance to spawn in. So I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway, that's how you get your Reaper to spawn in. I do have video of taking out this Reaper coming soon. So keep on a lookout for that, and we will talk to you soon.